I've got here in my hands the number six dial from my 5302. The major parts, there's this contact stack with the dial pulse or the DP contacts right here where my screwdriver is. On this dial, the ON contacts or off normal contacts are separated into two sets of contacts. We've got a set of gears under here that will reduce the gear ratio that this governor is attached to. This big gear is connected directly to the finger wheel. And this big round thing with the weights and the spring in it is the governor. The governor regulates the return speed of the dial. Turning it over to the business end, we have a metal finger wheel. We have the finger stop and the piece with the dots on it is the dial back plate. The way this works, when you pull back on the finger wheel, get a look at that contact stack there. You'll see that the DP contacts are closed. You'll also see that the ON contacts, this part right here on the ON contacts, this actually opens the receiver so that you don't hear the clicking. This black stud here is responsible for returning the ON contacts back to their normal position when the finger wheel is at rest. It reconnects the receiver so that you can hear the calling party or the called party and when the finger wheel is at rest it opens the ON contacts so that you can hear stuff through the receiver. The DP contacts are the same in operation here. What's happening, you've got this little cam with a lobe on it. This actually does the pulsing. Dial a zero to show you. You'll see that this little stop will engage the DP contacts and will allow the contacts to actually pulse. Like that. Now on this phone, in this dial, the Y terminal right here and I believe it's, what is this, the BK? Yep, the Y and the BK contacts, they make up one side of the line. What this dial is doing is actually pulsing one side of the line directly. Another thing to note, watch this. How is the speed of this dial regulated? Watch what happens. Watch the governor carefully. You'll see that these weights when I let go of the finger wheel, these weights will spread out. The limit to which they spread out is governed by this spring right here in the center. And it ensures that the finger wheel is released at a constant rate. 10 pulses per second.